before we get started, I must give props to my buddy. My buddy who owns a G500 mouse who's always told me how great it is. Internet, you ready for the number one G600 review? Let's go. Shucks, the driver was not there. Let's find the driver on Logitech.internet. What a sexy instrument. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Anyway, click the download for Windows 7. 64 bit, because that's what you all have, right? Save it in downloads or wherever you know. Uh, it's downloading. Done! Alright, run it, click da. Splash screen da, accept da. Install ink da. Tonka next. Tonka naked women. Ooh, look at this. This is nice. Very sexy indeed. Ooh, we'll have to come back to these DPI settings. Let's look at this color. Ooh. These 12 buttons on the side that says G9 through 20 are all colorable. They have red, green, blue colors. You can go through all the spectrum. As you can see, you can adjust the pulse speed of it, so how fast it flashes. You can change it to homo rainbow if you like. So many options. You can even have it stay one color, not even blink if you want. How about if you take a look under your skirt, baby, and look at all your settings. Eh? Oh, let's look at the help in case we need some assistance. Now if you can check out these buttons here. Mm. Ooh, you could consider this a little bit overwhelming at first. Look at all these button options. Oh. Golly. Let's let's try this touted G Shift power. <laughs> ah, so as you hold G Shift, the other buttons have different functions. Very sexy. Okay, let's take a look at these modes. It's got three modes per profile, which is nice. And considering that you can have like 17 extra buttons with G Shift, it's like it's a lot. Now let's check out this prof. Oh, look at this! It automatically scans for games. And you can just drag this knife onto this button, so you can cut them in the cock if you like. Now scope this out. You can set one button to cycle through the DPI. And you can even assign a button to a sniper button if you will. DPI shift is what they call it now. And you can add different DPI levels, so that you can cycle through these different DPI levels. There's a cycle button, you know? Uh, that was the report rate right there, you can look into that later. Let's add a profile, eh? Well, let's do that. Let's add it for Photoshop. Okay. Alright, and check that out. Uh, there's, a, there's a profile for the Photoshop, isn't that nice? We can even add our own custom icons. Ooh, I like that icon. Is that my logo? Oh. You can just drag buttons around. Right there, you saw that, right? Yeah. And we're just looking through all of these different options here in the Horion menus. You can add so many different features. And speaking of toe button mice, let's look at its main competition, the Razer Naga. They look similar, but there is one major difference. The Naga has flat buttons on its side, but the G600 has tactile feedback. There's two little nipples on the middle buttons, and they're separated into two rows of six. Those little indents plus those nipples allow you to know which buttons you're pressing without looking at them. Which is friggin' handy! Okay, so let's take a look here at profiles. Profiles can be set up for individual programs, as you've already seen. You can also set the colors. Now notice what happens when I select Photoshop. Oh shit. It turns blue. And automatically. Now let's look at After Premiere. Turns, turns Periwinkle. And I tell it to do that. Which is depending on what you're doing. Don't, hey, don't cut me off. There's hey. a G shift button here. Is easy to accidentally try snacking it's the right mouse. Uh, usually the right mouse is the furthest to the right. You know the right mouse click furthest to the right? No, this time it's G shift. So I'm going to have to get used to G shift. Alright, now I'll give the G600 an A so far. It's got a few kinks, but all new things do. You're off less. Good boy. 